Okay. Now this first part, you guys don't have to copy. I just want to show you what we are doing when we are solving for two equations simultaneously. So, as I get it, we have a figure hand here again. Stimulus form, the in is a parabola and the other is a right line. The one is a parabola and the other one is a straight line. Okay. This is the graphic representation of what you are doing when you are solving simultaneously. And it's important for you guys to just put that somewhere in a dusty file in the back of your mind. Because when we get two graphs, you are going to apply it again there. If we are solving for simultaneous equations, then you are finding the intercepts of two graphs. Because you are saying that that is where the one graph is equal to the other graph. So when you are busy with gelijktijdige oplossing, for all this year what we now quadratis gaan, betekent it that you are busy to find the position where the two graphs graphieke mekaar snyd. Also, very important, last year with your simultaneous solutions, it was only straight lines. So you had no quadratic equations. Right? It was only x to the power of 1, y to the power of 1, in other, in other words, linear equations, straight lines. So do you see there, you only had one solution, because they only cut once. A straight line can't double back and go again. Eh? Uh -uh. Net in. This year, when we do it with quadratic equations and linear equations combined, do you see that you will have two solutions? Okay, so graphically, do you guys understand why you will have two solutions? Because my graphs cut each other twice. Okay, this you don't need to draw in the test, but just keep it somewhere, file, and then when we get to graphs again, and I ask you to say, let's say I call that A and this B, and I ask you for the coordinates of A and B then you will have to use simultaneous solution to find those two values. Okay, but we get there again. No, no, ma, anadach. Okay. So, let's start with example one. Now, remember, you have to use, have to use substitu substitution. Not x to 5 one, sorry, example one. For build in. Okay. And the question will be solve for x and y simultaneously. Now, this first example, they were very friendly with you because both of our e equations are in terms of just one variable. Singular all two, they the i alien. Okay. As dit nie so was nie, is jou eerste stap om hierdie ene in terme van net x of net i te kry. I'll repeat that. If you have a question and it is not just in terms of y or x, then you just manipulate it to make it in terms of just y or just x. Okay, but this one is easy. So I'm going to call this equation 1 and this equation 2. And I'm going to substitute 2 into 1. So in other words, I'm going to say this y, which is equal to negative x minus 1. I can go put into that y. Eh? Think of it as a little box. Eh? You have a box, what's the name is I. You have a box and the name of the box is y. What is inside the box? Inside the box we have negative x minus 1. Okay. So now I'm just going to take that box and put it into y. 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 Okay, so then you say negative x minus 1 is equal to negative 2x squared minus 9x minus 1. And what do we do then? We just solve for x. 
which you have done hundreds and millions of times. Sorry guys, I copied this one wrong. That must be a nine. Just change your one to a nine. I so far and I can work it, ma. Let's keep it here. Okay. Because it's an equation, I'm gonna divide by two. While you guys are copying that, Makun's Moy. It is very important that you remember that you have to solve for x and for y. Nee? Onthou jylle dit van daas jaar af. As jy beter is met gelijktijdige oplossing, dan kan jy nie net happy wees as jy vir x opgeloos het die. Now this one you just have to make that mind shift. Last year you had to remember that you have to have two values in your answer. One value for x and one value for y. This time you have to have four answers. Two values for x, two values for y. Nee? So now we are going to go back and you say, as x is equal to 4, then is y equal to minus 4 minus 1. So that is minus 5. And on the other hand, as x is equal to 1, then is y equal to minus 1 minus 1. So that is minus 2. Now you guys can leave it as that. Okay? So you don't have to write the next step that I'm going to write now. But graphically, what we did is we found the coordinates for the two intercepts. You see, x value 4, y value negative 5, x value 1, y value negative 2. So you found the two coordinates for the intercepts. But when we get to graphs again, I think it's in unit 5, whatever, then we'll get back to this. So you don't have to write this part. You can just stop there.